What's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here with another figure review and counting down the days until Christmas I thought it'd be cool to review the Diamond Select Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas Santa Claus figure. I actually found this in store today at a uh, Toys R Us and the Pumpkin King was still was was there as well. I've never seen either one in store. The Pumpkin King looked awesome. I sat there for a while going back and forth. Which one should I get? Which one should I get? I wanted to get Santa Claus though, so I went ahead and picked him up. But he looks so cool. I love his little flame effect. It looks really good. The only kind of issue I have is the arms look very very skinny, almost like you know uh, Jack Skeleton's arms were on that first release. So. I don't know, I feel like they could just break very easy, like they're very fragile. But, check out this Santa Claus, man. He's huge, absolutely huge figure. I mean, it's massive. You're definitely getting a lot of plastic with this one. But the packaging is what we've seen before. It's basically just a big, you know, clam with some cardboard. You can clearly see the figure behind the window. You do got Disney's Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. You got the name of the character. You got a little image of Jack Skeleton up there. Side of the packaging, top of the packaging, bottom of the packaging, other side of the packaging. And on the back, you do have the other figures that are available. You do have a little bit of a read up. And this is sculpted by Dave Cortez. And you got all the other insignia and all what have you on the packaging. But that's the packaging. Let's go ahead and crack him open and take a close. Okay, here he is out of the packaging along with everything that you do get with the figure. Now taped to the back, you do get this kind of Diamond Select Toys soliciting pamphlet. So it does go over some of the other figures that are out there. Different series. They do have the little feedback portion. On the back, it shows you some mini mates, some other Toys R Us exclusives, I guess. Now, the one thing I did find interesting is on the back of the packaging, it does say this deluxe action figure of Santa Claus from Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas features multiple points of articulation and display base, sculpted by Dave Cortez. But um, I do not see a display base, unless they're talking about maybe this piece, which is more or less just the back of his outfit. I don't see a display base. So that's a little confusing. Now I do know that, you know, a lot of the Diamond Select toys come with display bases, because I, I more or less always get the ones that you find like at Toys R Us, and they're, and they're a lot cheaper and they don't come with you know those particular diorama pieces or bases so in this particular case I'm not sure if you know I was supposed to get a base or not but taking a closer look at the Santa Claus very very cool a couple little goodies you do get with him is a hat and it's you know done really nice nice sculpt on it we get some really nice red paint fairly good white paint there is some bleeding here and there but it does look really cool and it's actually sculpted to fit on his head so you can kind of see where the sculpt mark is so like the top of his hair piece and it'll just kind of wedge in there and fit on him really well and then the other cool thing is we do get the naughty nice list and this is done pretty nice it's not like a pretty soft you know plastic a little bit bendy and um, it's actually really neat because it actually has uh, you know legible names all the way up it so very very cool and you got some that are crossed out they're obviously the naughty kids not getting anything but very very cool it kind of has a little bit of you know sh paint shading i guess more or less kind of going down the sides and it's done in like a very kind of light greenish almost grayish color and then taking a closer look at mr santa claus himself i think it looks really good i think it looks like it popped right out of you know the movie so very very cool I really like the head sculpt it's done really nice we get some nice painting get some rosiness on his cheeks and nose you know the eyes are painted well enough they're basically just you know two little black dots but at least they're in the pointing in the right direction and they're really nice sculpt for his beard now this is basically just one thick piece that goes all the way down we do get some nice you know sculpted lines in it so it does kind of, you know, bring it out and make it look a little bit like it's, you know, actual hair. 
but really nice sculpt all the way. The mouth is actually sculpted in there too along with some teeth and lips, so that's really cool. And of course you do have the top of the head which has a little bit of hair. And then for the rest of them we just get the big old Santa Claus suit. I think it turned out really nice. We get some nice kind of dark shading in some of the you know, lines all throughout it. We do have a little bit of shading up here at his shoulders. Basically just black for the gloves and really nice white on these parts here and going all the way around the bottom. We have a little blemish right here on, on this one, but you know, not so bad. And the really cool thing about this is, oh yeah, on the back you got good old Mr. Santa Claus and his boxers or his underwear. Really neat though, very funny. It looks it definitely looks like it did in the movie as well. So you do get the kind of reefs painted all over. Very, very cool. And let's take a look at the back of the Santa. And like I said, I mean, he, he'll more or less stand like this. I mean, he, he's not, he looks like he would be back heavy, but you can basically get him to stand. But then, of course, we do get this other piece, which more or less just completes the suit. And again, this is done just like the front. We do get a little bit of shading on the lines, and we get, you know, nice bright white going around the bottom. And as you can see, there's some pegs that you just port in to the holes, just line everything up and try to peg those in place as carefully as possible without snapping anything. And it doesn't really want to like snap all the way in there. I'm kind of scared to put too much force on it because I don't want to break anything. But for the most part, it lines up and snaps in there. Not too bad. So there we, there we go. Just takes a little bit of force. There's a little bit of a seam going down there, but I guess you don't want it on there too tight in case you do want to take it off. But uh, really, really neat. And of course with that, he's basically gonna stand and not really go anywhere. So very, very cool. Oh, look, I chipped some paint on that, moving his arm earlier. But um, as far as articulation, we do get a little bit of our articulation with him. Unfortunately, you don't get any movement in the head. I thought the head would at least swivel, and this whole entire piece would swivel. But it doesn't. It doesn't go anywhere, more or less because this part is all sculpted. But you do have a hinge, so you can bring the arm out about that much. I would be careful, though, because like you see on this side, I've already scraped paint doing that. I didn't even realize I did that. But I need you get swivel all the way around. And of course you do get swivel at the hand. A little bit of kind of up and down play. But that's it. I mean that's all the articulation that you do get with this Santa. The hands do pop out as you can see. But there's no other, you know, hands or any other interchangeable parts. That's pretty much it. And as far as the list... I mean, it's a little unfortunate that we can't get him to hold this. I mean, I guess you can kind of force the arms in, and he will, for the most part, kind of hold on to that. But it just kind of falls out, so there is really it, is no gripping hands for that. But I mean, at the end of the day, it makes a great looking piece. Put his hat, hat on here. Now, as far as how tall this figure is, let's see. It looks like to the top of his hat, he is about seven inches tall to the top of his hat. So, actually, no, I'm sorry. That's why I didn't want to have it way. So he's almost, almost a little under eight inches to the top of his hat. And he's pretty much a little under seven inches. Almost like six and three quarter inches to the top of his head there. Now I don't have my Jack Skeleton anymore, I ended up getting rid of that figure just because it was so kind of fragile. I do kind of wish I had it now just so I could give you a comparison with that figure. But as far as a standard Marvel Legends figure, this gives you a little size comparison as far as how big this Santa Claus does, you know, is on the shelf. As you can see, it's a pretty big piece. It definitely takes up quite a bit of real estate on the shelf but that's all right we all got plenty of room on our shelves don't we <laughs> but uh, yeah guys that was a look at the diamond select 
Disney's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Santa Claus figure. Very cool. I mean, definitely gets me pumped and more in, in the spirit of the coming up Christmas. Very cool addition to the collection, especially if you're collecting the other figures in the line. I mean, he's going to look great up against, you know, your other characters. And I probably will pick up that uh, King Pumpkin at some point in time because that really did look good. But yeah, guys, that was a review. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next figure review.